Hey, the Paul Blue Demon fans, I'm Leo Blavin with your Blue Demon download for Monday, April 5th, recapping this past weekend in Nepal Athletics and previewing what's ahead. On Sunday, senior Bina Saipi scored four minutes into the women's soccer match at Creighton, but the Blue Jays netted two goals in the second half for a two to one win. On Saturday, track and field wrapped up its first outdoor meet of the spring season in Louisville, finishing second as a team at the Louisville Invitational. McKenna Ori set a new school record in shot put with a throw of 15.76 meters. Kyle Mastrangeli set a new school record in the 100 meter dash with a time of 10.38 seconds, breaking a 38 year old program record. Softball continued its undefeated start to Big East play, competing their sweep of Connecticut four to two. Gabby O'Reilly led the way for the Blue Demons with a two run home run to clinch DePaul's seventh straight win. On Friday, men's golf hosted the John Dalio match play event, beating Bradley in the morning session before falling to Loyola Chicago in the championship match. In softball, the Blue Demons started their three-game series with UConn with a 5-1 win behind a 5 and eight one one-run performance in the circle from Natalie Halverson. DePaul completed their double out of sweep in the afternoon, coming back from down four runs to top the Huskies 6-4. to four. Men's tennis earned a hard-fought Big East win on Good Friday, snapping a three-match skid by taking four out of seven matches against Butler and Indianapolis. In men's soccer, DePaul conceded a late goal against Creighton in the 84th minute, falling in Omaha 4-3. Before we take a look at what's coming up this week, let's take a look back at today in Blue Demon history. On this day in 2014, junior Mary Connolly fired five innings, allowing just one earned run and adding two RBIs as DePaul softball finished off its second straight win, beating Seton Hall 7-2. For a complete look back at today in Blue Demon history, follow at DPU AthDev today on Twitter and Instagram. Coming up this week, men's tennis travels to South Bend to face Notre Dame at 2.30 on Monday afternoon. On Wednesday, men's soccer hosts Xavier at 11 a.m. at Wish Field, while softball hosts Northern Illinois at 3.30. Women's tennis hosts Butler at noon on Thursday. On Friday, track and field competes in day one of the Tom Botts Invitational in Columbia, Missouri. Women's tennis faces Xavier in Cincinnati, and men's tennis faces the University of Chicago. On Saturday, track and field concludes their meet in Missouri. Softball travels to Villanova for a doubleheader beginning at 11 a.m., and men's soccer hosts Aurora at 1 p.m. On Sunday, women's tennis is at Dayton. Softball wraps up its three-game series at Villanova. Women's soccer wraps up the regular season at Xavier. And men's tennis also competes at Xavier Sunday afternoon. For the latest on all things DePaul athletics, visit DePaulBlueDemons.com. Now to send us out today with our Now We Must Minute is a native of Chicago's South Side and current chairman of the National Board of the American Heart Association, Bert Scott. Good afternoon. I'm Bert Scott, a very proud alumnus of the School for New Learning, 1980 graduate, and now the School for Continuing and Professional Studies. I'm also a life trustee of the Board of Trustees, as well as a member of the Now We Must campaign. These are incredibly unusual times. We have a pandemic, we have social unrest, as well as we have an economic crisis. All of those two things affect students and their lives. I can completely relate to this as a first generation student. I realize how tight money can be when you're trying to pay for your own education or your parents who have limited resources help you with your education. Investing in a student's education could and likely will change their lives. It changed my life. Think about those students who have passed through those doors at DePaul and the contributions they've made to the world already. This is the next generation of students who will make a contribution to the world. This is why this time is so critical for all of us.